Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the conservation laws in classical mechanics. So, uh, at first, we'll discuss about the conservation of uh, linear momentum. So, number one, we'll discuss conservation of linear momentum. So basically, this is quite easy. So what this means is uh, we know that the if a force F is acting on a particle of mass m, then according to Newton's second law of motion, we have F equal to dP by dt or we can write as d by dt times mv, right? because p is equal to mv right now if external force is zero that is f is zero then we can write that d or dt of mv is equal to zero this means that mv is equal to uh, a constant right so this is an important conclusion here so what does this mean? This means that in the absence of an external force, the linear momentum of a particle is conserved. So in short, if F is equal to zero, then MV is equal to constant. So this is an important conclusion from the conservation of linear momentum so now second the second so now we will discuss about the conservation of angular momentum so this is conservation of angular momentum now we know that angular momentum j is equal to r cross p where p is the momentum so now let's say i want to differentiate this uh, with respect to time on both side then what we do we write ddt of j is ddt of r cross p right now let's try to solve this and see uh, what we get now in the right hand side if we use the uv rule then this is dr by dt cross p plus r cross dp by dt now we know that dr by dt is equal to v then we can write this v cross mv because p is also mv plus r cross dp by dt now if we look closely then this term is zero the only term remaining is the second term so the final term remains as dj by dt is equal to r cross dp by dt now we know that dp by dt is f so this is f so if i highlight dp by dt we wrote as f now the interesting part is that if a force on a particle uh, is f then the moment of force or torque basically which is represented as tau is given by r cross f so this is an important relation which you always uh, should remember then if we use this relation here then what we get is that tau is equal to dj by dt similarly here what we can say is that if the external torque is uh, zero 
then angular momentum is conserved right so from this the conclusion is that if the external torque that is tau is zero then angular momentum is conserved so this is the conservation of angular momentum this is also quite easy uh, note that i will share the slide with you so that you can print and uh, you can follow along so let's look at number three this is uh, slightly lengthy but uh, interesting as well so the third one is the conservation of energy now the work done by an external force f upon a particle in displacing from point 1 to point 2 is defined as w12 equal to 1 to 2 f dot dr now uh, let's discuss about the kinetic energy and work energy theorem first so we know that f dot dr is equal to m dv by dt that is a times dr or we can write as m dv by dt times v dt so v dt is basically dr or we can write m d dt half v dot v dt or we can write as d half m v square right then the equation w12 1 to 2 f dot dr becomes 1 to 2 d half mv square which is equal to half of m v2 square minus half m v1 square now the scalar quantity half mv square is uh, defined as the kinetic energy so this is the kinetic energy t2 and this is the kinetic energy t1 then we can write the equation as w12 is equal to 1 to 2 f dot dr equal to t2 minus t1 this is also known as the work energy theorem similarly you can also uh, show uh, different properties for example uh, for a conservative force it can be shown that the close integral f dot dr is equal to curl of f dot ds is equal to zero right and using the conservation theorem uh, principle uh, you can also show that the sum of the kinetic energy plus potential energy is equal to the total energy of the system now for competitive exams and interviews uh, derivation might be important but uh, the results are more important because generally uh, they might ask to derive the work energy theorem or just state the conservation theorem for energy angular momentum and linear momentum so I'll just repeat once again conservation of linear momentum states that in absence of external force the linear momentum is conserved in conservation of angular momentum in absence of external torque 
angular momentum is conserved and in the conservation of energy that is the work done from 1 to 2 is change in its kinetic energy so and also the total energy of the system is uh, conserved as well so this is it and uh, by the way uh, this is a uh, slight mistaken so conservation of energy is basically the conservation of energy that is uh, the sum of potential and kinetic energy is constant and this is basically the work energy theorem um, so if you like this video please do subscribe to this channel i will make similar videos uh, in short describing theories for your competitive exams and also you can download this note uh, from the description and you can print it for uh, your preparation later on while uh, you are preparing for different exams and interviews. Thanks for watching and have a nice day ahead.